Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. The Orange Spectacular here in Minnesota is the place where the most classic Alice Chalmers tractors are gathered in one place for one big show. Many of those tractors are restored and one of the guys who does the restorations on Alice Chalmers tractors that people really enjoy is Luke Olson of Elmwood, Wisconsin. Luke, you're back to another Orange Spectacular. Absolutely, we never miss this show. Why is that? Well, it's easily the best in the whole country. I mean, if you're an Alice fanatic, this is where you got to be. Yep, they call it the Orange Spectacular for a reason. What do you think makes the show such a draw for Alice Chalmers fans? Well, it's it's more than just tractors. It's the friends, the people, and uh, they do great field demos, a swap meet, a toy show. It's kind of everything you want in a tractor show. You have really gotten into tractor restorations. You've been doing it for 10 years now. Yes, I started my business just repairing farm equipment 10 years ago, and the last five years I've been 100% restoration. It's been very good business. Right now we're booked out two years to get anything in. And a guy like you who's working on tractors all the time and busy doing it for other customers, you also collect a few yourself, don't you? I sure do. My grandpa was an Alice Chalmers dealer, and I got about 40 Alice tractors, and I only get about one of mine restored every couple of years, but try to keep after them. And we are standing right next to one of your outstanding restoration jobs and of course you own this tractor. Tell us about it. It's a 1972 20 land handler. Uh, I got it not running, overhauled the motor, fixed a lot of leaks and then went through it and gave it a top-notch restoration like everything we do. And tell us a little bit about some of the features on the land handler. I guess start with the engine. Well, they had a six-cylinder, 426 cubic inch engine. I think they're about 135 horsepower stock factory. Um, the operator's platform was kind of updated from the D21. Uh, it's kind of followed the D21 in a way, but it's kind of about what it is on a 220. You think your granddad sold quite a few of these back in the day? I don't think he ever sold any 220s new. Uh, a lot of 190s, but uh, I know there was a few of them that he'd sold after they were a couple of years old. And what do you think these tractors were, were really good for on the farm back in the day? Well, they were good for heavy tillage. They were a heavy tractor, so I think that was their main purpose was all the heavy bull work. And how much work did it take you to get this one looking like it does now? A lot of hours. <laughs> I probably have easily 250 hours of labor into this tractor and I don't want to know how much money I have in it. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't pay the count, does it? No, it does not. Sometimes you just don't want to know. <laughs> and so what do you think Alice really got right with this series of tractors, the 220? Of course, this isn't the very biggest of the line, uh, the 220s, but what do you think they did, did well with these tractors? Well, I think Alice learned a lot. The, the D21 was a very good tractor, but they did have some rear end problems and the, the rear end in the 220 is pretty much all updated and different. So, you know, they, they made a good, strong tractor. And minus a cab, this is a, a pretty good tractor to farm with, don't you think? I would sure think so. And you could get a factory Alice cab on a 220 as well. So tell us a little bit about what you think is driving the restoration business these days. Of course, we came through that COVID pandemic and everybody thought, uh-oh, no tractor shows, no tractors to restore. Give us the update on, on what's happening in the world of restoration right now. It's kind of, I was worried as well, it was going to kind of fade away to nothing, and it's the exact opposite. I think no tractor shows, and there's guys that have tractors, been sitting on them for years, want to fix them and haven't, and now they had time. I mean, even my parts suppliers, wiring harnesses, that stuff always was like two weeks out. You order it, two weeks you get it. Now it's like two months. So I think everybody's just doing what they can to stay active. And what... I guess makes you feel good or what, what kind of feeds your soul when you're restoring an Alice Chalmers tractor and getting it looking like it did when it came from the factory? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess I kind of got one of them visions. I can, you can bring me the biggest piece of junk and I can see it done before I even start on it. It uh, just goes back to when I was little around the shop. It, uh, always Alice tractors and that's, that's where my passion is. And bouncing back to the land handler, the 220, when you're up there driving it, what's the feeling? Oh, it's pretty cool. It kind of gives you one of them warm, tingly feelings. All right, Luke Olson talking about his 220, the land handler built by Alice Chalmers, now part of his collection.